Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of The First Look. I'm going to be your host Vikings and today we're going to take a look at an epic which is an indie action RPG platformer developed by someone whose name I'm going to totally butcher, Francisco Teles de Meneses and published by Nina Gamers. And I have another giveaway for you guys of this nice little game right here. I have two copies and what you have to do is first of all finish watching this video, find out if the game is actually something that you like and then leave a comment saying that you would like a key or you would like to enter the giveaway and I'm gonna choose two people at random who will get the keys and the winners will be announced sometime tomorrow. So there you go guys, let's uh, take a look at the options menu first of all. Got a couple of options for video over here, not a lot as you can see also gives you some nice tips about what everything does. Sound volumes, always nice to have sliders, very very good. Got uh, some gameplay options as well, lots of languages, uh, some, a lot of them want audio support as well. Controls, now as you can see this game features a controller as well, you can go here and uh, calibrate it in the gameplay. Or you can use uh, the mouse and keyboard which is what we're gonna do right now, so let's see. Up, down, OK, target, attack, enter, OK, I think we should be good. So let's try the single player, see what it's about, and if I manage to find the multiplayer game, right now it's searching, then I'm going to show you some of the multiplayer as well. Start a new game, skipping the tutorial, I think we're going to do this. Let's put my name over in there, too bad it doesn't let me caps lock at all. For experienced players with familiar Metroidvania style games, oh. I think we're gonna go with a medium. Hard plus plus might be a little much for me. Okay, so let's see what do we have over here. That's my little dude right there. It's recommendable to assign a shortcut to healing potions. To search for a potion in the middle of combat is a madness because the game is not paused when opening the game menu. Okay. I get that, and I think it's number six, if I'm not mistaken, so that works. There's my cool little attack. No double jump, sadly, it looks like. Okay. Oh, so that's my save game, cool. So let's go on. Now, as you can see, the game has a retro graphic style, which is very, very nice. Can't really see anything. Is that a monster? I think I'm gonna fall down. Oh, come on! Stupid bats. Red Magic Essence. I have no idea what it is. Anyway, the game features over 200 rooms to explore. There we go. Killed something. Very, very nice. Let's get some... No, no, no. No! I really hate those bats. Oh, crap. This doesn't look good. I think I'm gonna die right here. Or... No, never mind. So the game features over 200 rooms to explore. Come on, die, die, die already, there we go. No drops? Huh. Seven bosses, over 70 spells. Magic essences are used to cast spells and create potions. It is good to keep them in case, you may need them later. Okay, I got that. Let's keep going. Oh, come on, stupid spider thing or whatever you are. Yeah, I'm not doing too well, am I? Come on, mash that spacebar button, destroy everything. There we go, some life, very nice. I have no idea where I'm going. Come on, just die, die, die. Ooh, life, yay! So, as I was saying, 7 spells, 100 different weapons, upgradable skills, and multiple endings, which is very nice. What is your duty in this place? Ooh, what you mean? Now, the game also is supposed to feature more than 2,000 lines of clever dialogue and pop culture references. Climb the Green Mountain, cross the eternal clouds and enter in this forbidden place risking your life. You must have a strong reason for this. Great Mountain, eternal clouds, I have no idea what you're talking about. I just know that I was at Rick's and suddenly I appeared in this castle. Do you insinuate that you ignore the reason of why you are here? <laughs> I know that I've been dragged and I'm here but I don't know why... What's my goal in this adventure? Normally, adventurers talk to a folk who looks for people for a mission at an inn, but this time I don't know what I must do. Maybe I should go to an oracle who reveals my destiny. 
Lots of great heroes like Troll did it. The Troll was a hero for your people, maybe an old ancestor. Okay. Well, you guys can read all of this. I don't really have the time or the patience right now. Oh, stupid snake thing. There we go. Let's take a look at my inventory, see what I have over here. Okay, so this is an armor. And. Is this equipped or not? Let's check. Ooh. Skills, cool. Let's try equipping this. Oh, yeah, it's equipped. Okay, this is equipped. What the heck is this? A mace. So, 48 damage, this 47. A short bow. And a magic essence, and that's about it. I think I'm gonna go with the mace, equip this one. There we go, has a little bit more damage. Ooh, a chest. Yes, I like chests, thank you very much. There we go, got a potion. And now we're gonna fall down a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Another chest, wonderful. Coins. Give me the coins. Come on, come on, come on. They're seriously pissed at me right now, probably killed their mother or something. Another gate, it is identical to the one I saw before. Let's see if I can open it. Okay, well, should be easy to open. There we go. Let's get in. So, I guess this is a... Um, kind of a level selector or something like that. This is all the rooms that we was talking about, and each of these rooms is gonna be a level in its own, as you saw. Let's try this one right over in the middle. Okay, so... Hmm. Can't open that gate yet, let's try this one, how about... And again I can't open the gate, wow, well, that kinda sucks. Can I open this one? Nope. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure... ...why I can't open them. I think we're just gonna go back, let's... ...track back to that level, see if I missed anything. Not exactly sure what the deal was with those doors and why I couldn't open them, but hey. What can Ooh, a quest? Greetings, mortal, do not fear my presence. My name already forgot it. <laughs> ah, the poor guy. Hate and remorse in this place. Blah, blah, blah. He's trying to rest in peace, poor guy. Filled with traps, yeah, I got that, and things to try to kill me. Who the heck is this guy? He's always. Is that that stalking me or. He's always there talking with me. There is a section for quests where you can see what quests are active and remember the description at any time. Okay, cool, so you have a quest tracker of sorts. Let's get some more potions, always useful. Approach to avoid projectiles, okay. And don't think I can jump on walls. Okay, so let's go back, it doesn't look like there's anything that I can... Oh, crap! Oh, those were spikes, come on! So this is not looking good at all. There we go, finally made it! Damn it! Okay, potion, potion, let's heal up. Go, 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 go! There we go. Come on, how the heck am I supposed to... Survive those traps, oh man, that's... And I'm dead. Yeah, so that was very, very nice. Now, the game is inspired by the Maze of Galios, which was an MAX game published by Konami back in the 80s. An Epic Quark is originally supposed to be a sequel to that game, but it eventually outgrew its purpose. And it's now its own game. Let's see. What if we go down here? No. It's the same way we came. I'm not going up there again, dude. Screw you. You're gonna have to get someone else to help you. One death is enough for me. I'm just gonna kill some of these little things. Get some more essence. That's very, very nice. Let's go back up, see what we have over here. More kitty kitty. Very good. I don't like that sound. Come on, die. 
set our intestines, dude. I, I don't want to pick that up. Forget it. I'm not carrying that around. Oh crap. Oh, these guys have meat cleavers. That's nice. I like a meat cleaver. I'll tell you that. Come on, die, die, die. This is like a kitchen or something. I think I'm gonna ruin their meal, but hey. Too bad, it's just something they're gonna have to deal with. Bat wings? And coins, cool. Let's get some bat wings. Stupid bats, gotta hate these things. They're hard to see. Okay, any more bats around here? Of course there are. There we go, think I am safe now. So, there you go, you pretty much get a feel for the game. Now, the game is available for PC. Stop killing me, I'm trying to talk over here. Bastard. It's gone. Okay, as I was saying, the game is available for PC and has the Linux port underway. Dude! Finally. There we go. And you can purchase it off the official website Steam Gamers Gate, the Sura, and it will set you back around 7 euros or your original equivalent. You have all the necessary links in the description. You can also purchase in-game credits from the developer website, but keep in mind that these are not available for the Steam version. And you can even purchase the game for a higher price if you think it deserves it. So there you go guys, this has been a quick look at an epic. Thank you for watching my video, I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave me your thoughts and questions in the comments below. And until next time, you go and have yourselves an awesome day guys.